Welcome to ProjeCAD Mechanical Parts Layout. This is Dimensioning and Plotting Your 3D Model. To find links to any downloadable resources available for this video, make sure to check the description box below. Back in the first module of this series, we had a video that covered dimensioning your drawings. We used an age-old method of scaling our dimension features up by an inverse factor of the final scale and placing the dimensions in model space. While this is probably the oldest method, there are others. In this video, we'll use a different method, this time the dimensions being placed in paper space. I'll be using the version of the mechanical assembly drawing that I had at the end of the last video. Since this is a basics lesson, I'll just throw in a few dimensions to explain the concept. In reality, each of the components would have its own sheet and be fully dimensioned for manufacturing. First, I'll change my layer. I'll change to the Home tab of the ribbon, and from the Layers pull-down, I'll select Dims, which is red. Next, I'll verify my dimension style. Changing to the Annotate tab, I'll click on the small corner icon to display the Dimension Styles dialog. I want to use ProjeCAD-Layout, so I'll select it from the list, click on Set Current, then close. So with my layer set and my dimension style set current, I'm ready to add a dimension in paper space. I'll zoom in a bit on the top view. I'm already in the annotate tab, so I'll launch the linear dimension tool. I'll put in an overall dimension at the top, and another one on the side. I'll continue with a string of baseline dimensions on the right side. Of course, these would appear on the individual part drawing, but I thought I'd add some here for this video as well. I'll zoom extents now, and I think I'll add an overall height dimension to the front view. So that's it. Dimensioning in paper space is also a terrific method to use. And even though they're in paper space, they're still associative. So if the object they're attached to is changed, the dimension will change as well. This does not apply to a change in the viewport's view. I'll activate the top view and pan down. Notice that the dimensions don't follow the display and are now disassociated. I'll make sure to undo to return to the previous state, making sure the viewport is locked. Let's create a PDF of our sheet, keeping in mind, of course, that we would have more annotations in the drawing along with title block information. This will serve as a bit of a recap, as I went into more detail back in the first module in this series. A PDF is created in the same way as a print or a large-scale plot, which is via the print command. I'll launch print from its icon in the Quick Access toolbar. Recall that I mentioned that I had initialized the layout prior to using for this video. I have saved all of the settings I used into a page setup. I'll expand the Page Setup menu and select ProjeCAD, which I created earlier. I'll go through some of the most important settings for this sheet. I've chosen the ProjeCAD PDF PC3 file as my printing device. I've defined the page size as Architectural D and specified it as Landscape. I am printing the layout so I have nothing else to worry about in the scale area. I'm using a grayscale pen table and everything else was left as is. Let's make sure we're getting what we expect by clicking on the Preview button. The preview looks perfect, so we're ready to create our PDF file. I could continue and print from the Preview window, but I'll close it and return to the Print dialog in ProjeCAD. Now, I'll click OK, and I'll be presented with a File Save dialog. The name field will be filled in with the drawing name, so I'll click the Save button, and my PDF file will be created. You can find out more information, download their 30-day free trial, or purchase your own ProjeCAD license at www.projecad.com.